Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. That's me. Listen, I know most of you have some good friends, friends you like to do things with, or you may be new to like a class and you, and you might not know anybody. This story is about how friends, they meet each other for the first time. They, they, they're not all the same. They may not all like the same things but they come together for a purpose, for a good cause. Let's see what it's about. You wanna know? Okay, it's called, and it's from the New York Times best-selling series. So this isn't the only one uh, in the series, okay? Boom! The Jelly Beans and the Big Dance. So maybe one time later on, Ms. B can get the other books in the series. The Jelly Beans and the Big Dance by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans, illustrated by Lynn Munzinger. Yes, look at that colors. So I know some of you like jelly beans for candy, right? Mm. Here's the title page. Title page. Okay, you ready? Let's go on this adventure with the jelly beans. Ready? Here we go. Emily loved to dance. She danced while waiting for the school bus. She danced while watching TV. And she even danced while brushing her teeth. Emily skipped all the way to her first dance class. She walked into the studio and looked around. She saw one girl reading a book, one playing with a soccer ball, and one drawing in a sketchbook. Welcome, the teacher said. I'm Miss Tingly Weezer. Please put your things in the cubbies. Emily saw name tags on the cubbies. Emily, Nicole, Bitsy, and Anna. The girl playing with the ball shoved it into the one marked Nicole. I love to dance, said Emily. Not me, Nicole said. I like to play soccer. My mom made me take this class. I'd rather paint, said Bitsy. Anna shyly put her book away. In a month, we will have a recital, Miss Tingly Weezer said. We will be dancing to a delightful song called, Oh Little Bug. Bugs are icky, said Bitsy. I'm afraid of bugs, Anna mumbled. My little brother ate a bug once, Nicole shared. Emily was disappointed. She was hoping to be, it's hoping to be something wonderful, like a princess, not a bug. And it looked like she wasn't going to be friends with Anna, Nicole, and Bitsy either. They had nothing in common. Miss Tingly Weezer had them make a circle and spin around and around. Bitsy got dizzy and bumped into Emily, who knocked into the cubbies. Their name tags fell on the floor. Hey, said Emily, the first letters of our name spell bean. I hate beans, said Nicole. The next few classes were just as awful. After the fourth one, Emily got into the car with her mother. Our dance should be called the No Good Bugs, Emily grumbled. She was very disappointed with her new dance class. Would a trip to Petunias cheer you up, her mother asked. Yippee, said Emily. Emily looked over all the candy. She finally decided on something special that she hoped would make dance class better. Can you guess what that treat was? The next
next day, Emily twirled and jumped while the other girls fumbled their steps. After class, Emily asked, Remember how our names spell out Bean? Emily gave each little girl a bag, a little bag. They opened them quickly. <gasps> jelly beans! I love jelly beans, said Bitsy. <gasps> Me too, said Nicole. They're my favorite candy, said Anna, jumping up and down. Jelly beans are all different flavors, but they still go well together, said Emily. Maybe we could too. We can be the dancing jelly beans. Everyone liked that idea. But our dance is still about icky bugs, Bitsy complained. I bet we can figure out a way to make this recital really great, said Emily. Anna showed them books about bugs at the library. They found some bugs that actually they thought were cute. Bitsy helped the girls design their costumes. Nicole taught them exercises she learned from soccer to get them into shape. And Emily worked with the others on their dance steps. Ooh, you see how everything is coming together. Finally, the big night arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the Jelly Beans, Miss Tingly Weezer announced. They will now perform Oh Little Bug. The Jelly Beans took their places on stage. And as you can see, there's a sign on stage that says presenting the Jelly Beans in Oh Little Bug. Emily looked at the audience. She had never seen so many people in one place. Miss Tingly Weezer began playing the piano. All of a sudden, Emily realized she, she didn't remember any of the steps. What's wrong, Nicole whispered. I'm scared, said Emily. Nicole took Emily's hand and started to do some silly soccer kicks. Then Anna and Bitsy started kicking too. Emily was having so much fun that she forgot to be scared and remembered her steps. The jelly beans did oh little bug from beginning to end. They twirled and skipped, they tiptoed and jumped. They danced and pranced and boogie woogied. The crowd whistled and clapped. Woo! Hooray for the jelly beans! They cheered. The jelly beans bowed. And then they went backstage to change. I almost messed up the recital, Emily said. But it was perfect, said Anna. Your kicks were great, said Nicole. I bet you'd be good at soccer. We could be the Jelly Bean Soccer All-Stars, Bitsy said. I just hope I don't forget when to kick, Emily said. Then they all went to Petunias for their favorite candy. Can you guess, boys and girls, what do you think their favorite candy that they got from the store? What do you think it is? I bet you know. <gasps> Jelly beans! And look how their the letters of their first name are on their shirts. Bitsy, Emily, Anna, and Nicole. 
Isn't it awesome? The end. Woo, let's give Laura Numeroff, Nate Evans, and Lynn Munzinger a round of applause for that wonderful story. Wasn't that cool? The story about friendship and how people from different backgrounds can work together and come together and have fun and jelly bean. As you can see, I got the from the library, yes? Which means I have a library card and I'm allowed to check out books from the library. <laughs> Reading is fun. It's an adventure. Be sure to get your library card, boys and girls, so that you can check out fascinating books like this one. Okay, I will see you next time for another reading adventure. Story time with Miss B. Oh, reading just gets you excited, doesn't it? Take care. Be good. Read and learn. And I'll see you next time. Smooches.